The Bureau of Meteorology's Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre in Darwin has issued their first advisory on the ex cyclone Owen, who is currently tracking across Cape York and is expected to redevelop into a tropical cyclone in the Gulf of Carpentaria Wednesday. Watch Zone Cape Shield in the Northern Territory to perk down in Queensland, including Groot Island and Warnington Island. So, X Cyclone Owen is coming back for another go. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has updated their position to high for Owen to develop once again into a tropical cyclone. And for the 10th of December, welcome to a update from the Force 13's channel. Now here's the current track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. At this point in time, data does not justify issuance of number of tropical cyclone warnings. Winds in the area estimated to be 20 to 25 knots of mid set imagery. Uh, shows that a circulation center is located at 16 decimal 1 south, 144 degrees east. The system is moving westward at 13 knots and it's located at about 282 nautical miles east north east of Mornington Island. Now we have a look at the life of the uh, system up to earlier today and uh, from my own personal position I like looking at the satellite imagery of uh, tropical systems and I've held this uh, position that uh, Owen uh, really didn't want to go away and he's coming back and possibly be a Cat 2 cyclone. Multispectral satellite imagery depicts a consolidating low-level circulation with deep convection building over the centre and upper level analysis shows a favourable area, low 10 to 15 knot vertical wind shear, excellent poleward outflow. Sea surface temperature is a very healthy 30-32 degrees Celsius in the Gulf of Carpentaria and conducive for further tropical cyclone development. Multiple Models indicate development over the next 24 to 36 hours with a westward trajectory. Models also show that it's uh, CO5 or CO5P tracking across northeastern Australia and regenerating once over the Gulf of Carpentaria. Maximum sustained surface winds 8, 28, 33 knots, minimum sea level pressure estimated to be about 998 millibars. The potential for development of a significant tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours is high. Now here's the uh, Bureau's first uh, track of what is going to be a Cat 1 system, although it's indicating uh, Owen to reach uh, Category 2 uh, status. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters. And whilst we uh, look at the uh, floaters, Bureau of Meteorology here in uh, Queensland has issued further advisories, warnings due to X Owen. Severe weather warning remains in place for the North Tropical Coast, Tablelands, Herbert, Lower Burlington forecast districts. A flood watch uh, remains in place for the North Tropical Southern Cape York Peninsula. Initial minor flood warning has been issued for the Tully and Murray Rivers. Minor flood warning for the Mulgrave River. 
Rainfall totals of 100 to 250 millimetres has been recorded in the Mulgrave River catchment since 9am Sunday, with more heavy rainfall possible during today. Areas of heavy rain between Port Douglas and Ingham may continue throughout the afternoon. Damaging winds are no longer likely. And here's the Bureau's latest warning chart. As mentioned, uh, damaging winds no longer likely with the system. Six hourly totals of up to 150 millimetres possible over already saturated areas. Locations which may be affected include Gelatin, Cairns, Yarraba, Mariba, Atherton, Innsvale, Ravenshoe, Mount Garden, Tully and Cardwell. In the six hours to 10 a.m., run a man we caught an 121 millimetres Kirama range, 120 millimetres and Cardwell Tide, 102 millimetres. Queensland Fire and Emergency Services advises that people should never drive, walk or ride through floodwaters. If it's flooded, forget it. Keep clear of creeks and storm drains and for emergency assistance, contact the uh, SES. Bureau Meteorology has a marine wind warning in place. Uh, they've cancelled the warning for Cooktown, Cairns, Townsville, Mackay. However, for Tuesday, Strong wind warning will be in place for the southeast Gulf of Carpentaria. And as Owen continues to develop, Force 13 will be providing regular updates. If it's not on the main channel, it will be on the local AU channel. And we have a look at Upper level divergence, a 50 minute bar vorticity, wind shear, and the 24 hour shear tendency. And latest imagery currently not available. And finally, we look at current possible tracks. Caution needs to be applied when viewing non official weather sources, the information changes. But again, what does one say about this uh, possible track? And for me down here in the southeast corner of Queensland, uh, looking at the uh, possible track, which is one of two, uh, we could actually see a deep tropical low tracking down into my region. And here's a look at the Bureau of Meteorology's radar. And it's the uh, Cairns station. You can clearly see that there is partial rotation. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and full 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>